Good evening, or afternoon, or morning, or night, whatever it is for you. Are you ready for another Rage Reacts video? Because we have one, you know, yet again. And it's done by Mimulus, it's called Horrible People Filming Themselves Do Horrible Things. Because we know this day and age how people can be completely stupid and will try anything for that bit of bit of clout, you know, it's just so enticing, you know, you need it. So yeah, we're going to look at this and react and there's probably going to be a lot of, oh my god, why would they do that? That's disgusting. What is wrong with you? Why are you not in a cage? It's going to be stuff like that. So sit back, relax and enjoy the madness once again and let's get into this. Because I, of course, I'm ready. Because these videos are already taken pieces and pieces of my sanity away as I go along. So yes, one more piece wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Today we're going to be taking a look at people being horrible just for the sake of being horrible. From the subreddit r slash I am a total piece of word I'm not allowed to say yet because it's too early in the video and I've got age restricted foot. Yes, so wait for it. A YouTuber in Nebraska just derailed a train for views. I heard about this. Like that is actually insane. I don't even know how, how did he manage to do that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! What do you mean? Why are you acting shocked? You're the one that I know. derailed the train. But Mimulus, there needs to be a reaction added to the video. Because you can't just have it being silent. You need to have the- Oh my god! Oh my god! How did that happen? Am I a piece of shit? That's right guys, I am. Look at me. <laughs> so funny... not. Oh my god, are they okay? Didn't he get like a load of time? Oh, why are you going, are they okay? As if you care. You're the one who, <laughs> who intentionally tried to derail a train. It, 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 did you not think about the consequences of that? Oh my god, people might get hurt by that. Oh. Yeah, genius. I mean, yeah, he's been arrested. I don't know how much time he's facing. Probably a hell of a lot of time for that. Goes to buffet, takes all... I'm gonna say this, right? I I don't know how much time he got, but usually when people do shit like this, they usually get off like with a slap on the wrist. I mean, like I said, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> R slash, I'm a total piece of shit. You know, what a, what a great, what a great uh, thread. This is going to be, this is going to be wonderful. It's only been the first fucking one. And already I'm annoyed. Lobsters then throws them all in the trash after being told it's one lobster per plate. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair enough rule. One lobster per plate. Do they, what kind of bougie buffet is this where they serve full, like whole lobsters? I've never even seen any kind of like lobster crab prawn. I mean, I've seen prawn, but like lobster and crab being sold at a buffet. Thank you, boss. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, oh well. Can I have more lobster or not? You can have more lobster once you have completed the search. I once have to eat all this first. To be clear, pounds, the rules are that I have to finish a plate before I go back to the buffet. Yeah, but I mean, you can't just take a whole plate of lobsters. Like, why? Why are you? Fi you're filming this because you know you're in the wrong. You know you're yeah. being a dickhead. You know you're just. Ah, like you yep. wouldn't film this if you knew you were in the right. Like, you know mm. you're in the wrong here and you're just stirring up drama. For the lobsters? Yes. We have a sign right It says there. one per one. plate. Yes. It doesn't say you have to eat the plate before you, you come back. Yeah, but it says one lobster per plate, genius. Wait, what was I? I wasn't even talking to you. Who are you? <laughs> it's time for full screen. People like this tickle my brain in the wrong way. And they, a lot of people do this, especially on TikTok, where... They just try to get reactions wherever they go. That's what they do. They just like... <laughs> and I love... This is what they, they do as well, right? This is how this is going to go, I think. Anyway, this is how it usually goes. Person does stupid thing. You know? Gets caught out for doing stupid thing. Argues about how he didn't do stupid thing. They're just being annoying. Someone else gets involved, trying to also say that what they did was stupid. But now this person filming is having a go at them and being quite aggressive as well. And then that person has a go at the one with the camera. And then the one with the camera then plays victim and says, You're on camera, dude. You're on camera. You're making yourself look like a fool. You're the fool, not me. <laughs> and that's how it goes. 
And then that person who was doing the filming probably gets kicked out. And then they're just like, they got their little bit of content. They have nothing else better to do in their lives. So yeah, they just find this funny all to themselves. It's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous that you get people like this these days. They just love trying to get reactions from people. But the thing is, right, then they start playing the victim like they've done nothing wrong when they're about to get smacked in the mouth. That's just what happens. Like, these people don't realise, right, eventually you're going to pick on the wrong person to do it on. And then that's going to happen. I know, like, it, obviously it wasn't this guy's intention, but there are, like, content creators who try to get a rise out of people. That's part of their content. But these these people who, like, filming try to act so fucking, like, oh, they're above everyone else. Like, they, they know, like, they're the ones in the right, but obviously, clearly, they are in the wrong. And I think, obviously, they know that they're in the wrong as well, like, uh, deep down, but obviously, they're just, like, they're just doing it for the content, you know? It's all for the shits and the giggles. Oh, my God, people like this, man. It, it just tests my very nerves. My last nerve just gets tested. But, yeah, is this, is how, is this how it's going to go? Right, so it's going to go one of two ways. Either the guy is going to... He's going to clap back and the, the guy with the camera is going to play victim and say you're on camera. Or the other guy is just going to like walk away. They're going to they're going to continue having the little argument. And then the guy's going to walk away. And then the one with the camera is just going to go that, um, yeah, that's right. You walk away. Walk away. You don't want these hands. Like, fuck off. People like this, man. They're such fucking, they're jesters, really, aren't they? The people, there's someone to, to laugh at and not with. They're ridiculous. Like, like, like I said, like, it's just embarrassing. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Oh, I think I got out what I needed to get out. Yes. Ah, it's good that I'm having food later so I can fill up the tank. But for now, I, re I get to release all what I have in me. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Unless it also cuts off. I have a feeling it could also cut off. That'll be my third option. It could also just cut off like that. And you don't know how it was resolved. Hey, you, I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, who are you? Who, I'm the guy with 20 lobsters on yeah. the plate. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. How many lobsters do you want, Sham? Come one? on, have you a go at me. Please. No, sorry, I was just taking a picture. The casino who be taking all your money has a problem with me taking some lobster, all you can eat. Stop playing with me. Well, yeah, because you're only allowed one lobster. They didn't <laughs> kick him out. here at the Palms in Vegas trying to put y'all onto the good spots. You know what I'm saying? And the manager comes over to me. Oh, yeah, he's just doing them a favor. He's trying to put them onto the good spots. But, ah, oh, they're trying to enforce the rules upon him. Oh, People no. Like, oh, excuse me, are you going to eat all that? The rule said one piece per plate, so that's exactly what I was doing. I would get one piece, take it back to so, my table. Why do Americans eat this much lobster? I, saw, I mentioned it in a video before. Like, Americans eat so much lobster. I've never seen so... Uh, normally, it's like one of these per plate. Like, when you order, like, a, a, I guess, like, I think it's called, like, a surf and turf, where you get a steak and a, a bit of lobster, you get, like, one of these. Why has he got, like, ten of them? Do you know what, right? I've always wondered what lobster... If lobster's good or not, because I've always been curious, because I've, I've wanted to taste it. But I've never had much of the opportunity. I always go with like the safe option. Like say for example if I go to a restaurant or something. And there's lobster on the menu. I'm someone who just go like with a safe option. Just go all of a steak or something. <laughs> My usuals. You know. I don't really step outside. You know. Those boundaries that much. <laughs> I just try something new. I do try you know, new things here and there. But like. I don't know. When it comes to lobster. I've just been. I've been curious. But also hesitant. I'm just wondering, is it good, guys? Like, you know, if you put on the comments if you've had lobster, if it's any good. You know, I'd be curious to know if you if if you enjoyed it. Americans just eat so much lobster. Piece per plate. So that's exactly what I was doing. I would get one piece, take it back to my table, and then go back. And get <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> that guy in the background was clapping. I think. Oh my god, he's in the background. And this guy, he also has an annoying face. Just saying. He just has an annoying face. I think some people who do TikTok, when they do content like this, they know they have an annoying face. They've probably been told it and they're just like, I feel they're quite the way. So they know they'll get people like, ooh, hate watching. <laughs> The, all that. Just stuff in your face, man. You don't need that much lobster. Busting. The butter has some seasoning at only $80, too? This deal is definitely worth it, but the way that they... Man, you're a gimp. Like, just sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to insult like this, but... The butter has some seasoning Look at the way you be dancing around in, like, a, oh, in a 
buffet. Oh my God. A buffet. You're, you're in a buffet dancing around. Oh, man, I have some shame. After you just spent the first half, half of the video having a go at a waiter. This deal is definitely... I always feel this way, right? It's like... Don't, don't, it's just so embarrassing as well. Like, obviously, we're watching the video of him dancing. And, of course, we have, like, the little sound effects and it's being edited and stuff like that. But, like, in reality, we're just, like, watching a grown man, right, in a restaurant where people are eating, right? There's no, like, music or sound effects or anything like that. I mean, he probably makes his own fucking sound effects with his mouth. But, like, <laughs> he's just doing this, like, he's, like, eating it. Mm, mm. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, he has dressing in it. Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> My fucking leg. I'm gonna continue with it. Uh, how, how do you do the dance again? How do you do the dance? I've whacked my leg. <laughs> I, I've gotten what I deserved. Show me the dance. Damn you! I can't see the dance anymore. Definitely worth it. But there the it is. Uh, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. You know what? Fuck it. I'm doing it right now. Full screen! There it is. And that's what he's doing. He's doing that at a restaurant. Minus whacking his leg on the table, which, good on him. I can't believe I fucking did that. That's gonna be embarrassing for me, but at least it's not as embarrassing as what he's fucking doing in public. Oh. Alrighty, oh. oh, let me just sit down here. Mm. 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 Don't know what that was, but it was delicious. <laughs> what the fuck I'm doing? Do you know what, all right? I feel when I look back on this um, recording that, you know, me looking like the bowling ball that I am. When I did that dance, I'm just gonna look like the fucking, like the Teletubbies when they're dancing. <laughs> Very stocky and just, mm, yes. <laughs> but I don't care, I do not care at all. Just like this guy doesn't care, but he does it in an annoying way. I do it in a way that, um, okay, I just do it in a way. But at least it's not this way. <laughs> The way that they treated me made me want to leave immediately. Oh yeah, they treat you so disgustingly, man. By going, oh, oh my yeah, god. You, you know, you can only have one lobster. Fire, Fire them all! Fire them! Fire them! one plate per person! Because my lobsters are one torn! You're not supposed to be back here, you're not. Oh, man. You put it in the... Oh, you're You're awful, you are. You're awful. I mean, people could have had those. But, yeah, like I said, guy, he's a piece of shit. Just saying how it is, just very wasteful, very wasteful. And I'm not saying I, I've never wasted food in my life, but like, that was very fucking wasteful. Oh, you're terrible. Oh my that's, God. That's actually really annoying. I'm gonna look up this guy's TikTok. Is he just an absolute villain or is this like a one-off? Do, you know, do you know what's really fucked as well, right? That probably cost the place that he the, the place that he was eating. That probably cost you know a good amount of money to get those, and it's just been wasted. No one's been able to enjoy them. User has one point six million followers. On Why? Why? Howling wolf art stolen from the Chartwell Cancer Trust in broad daylight. <laughs> I mean, did, okay, did the art belong to the Chartwell Cancer Trust? Or was it just kind of done there? Uh, <laughs> they stole my designs. The thing is, right, I won't have it. I don't care if it's a charity. Designs that have been painted <laughs> over by Banksy and they've been confirmed to be painted over by Banksy and people have stolen them. And I'm kind of like, I understand because that will sell for so much money and it's just there in public. Like, if you just leave something to be that valuable to be stolen in public, it will get stolen. <laughs> Absolute. Yeah, I mean it isn't good, but it's, it is to be expected. <laughs> so fucking laugh as well. They all, people like this always have the stupidest laughs. <laughs> the fuck. Oh. Bus driver in London. Just a normal uh, bus ride in London then. Yeah. This is the I this is the norm show really. He just said. You, you get out the bus. You get out the bus. You get out the bus. 
You can't get off the bus, he's the bus driver! How did you get into this kind of heated argument with a bus driver? What happened? Did he just, did he ask you to tap your Oyster card and it didn't have enough money on it or something? Do you know what, right? I've been on the bus plenty of times. And there have been like a few rare occurrences where people have been very argumentative with a bus driver because like, you know, they're like, I don't know, two pounds short. And the bus driver's like, well, you can't come on because you don't have the right amount. And then they're just going like, oh, it's only two pound, mate. And they're just having like a back and forth. I've seen that like, you know, probably a few times in my life. But it does happen. I mean, I've seen them and it's not as bad as that guy was where he was like spitting and he was having a full on like rage moment. <laughs> but yeah, pe there, people do do this like and it could be for the, you know, the stupidest reasons. I don't know, maybe like the guy dropped him off a bit too far than he wanted him to. He was hoping that he would drop him off a bit closer to where he wanted to be dropped off. But he, the bus driver was like, nope, I have to stop here because this is the bus stop. And he's like, well, you you're just being a dick, mate, you know. <laughs> I don't know, it can be anything. So, or maybe it could be like this guy was just a dick. And the bus driver called him out for it, and he's just, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's for shooting homeless people. What? Hold on a minute, hold on. Let me just have a look what it says. Woman filing a report at a police department advocates for shooting homeless people. What? That's right. You don't know how to use your gun, sir. Okay. I don't like it when Americans passively, uh, passive, well, I mean, she's not very passive, aggressively using, she's aggressively using sir. I hate it. It's just a little thing that irks me. We don't do it here in the UK. But when Americans are arguing with people, they're like, sir, sir, sir. She wants to shoot, she wants to shoot homeless people. Yeah. See, there we go, sir, to the man <laughs> recording. Oh, sir, okay. it's none of your business. Is that just like the American mate? Like, oh, mate, shut up. Oi, sir, shut up. Okay, I, I, I can't really show much of the rest of this video. Not good to go into a police department and go, yeah, why don't you just shoot all the homeless people? When we get some manicure in a salon, then dashes. New Caney peeps, be on the lookout. We got a nail salon bandit. She's not even she running. She's just... <laughs> <laughs> a nail salon bandit. <laughs> that sounds like the shittest... Robber ever. Like let's see, like we all know, like the legendary wet bandits from Home Alone. Of course, they're the only ones who can put it off. You know, pull it off. I mean, not put it off, but the nail salon bandit. <laughs> oh wow! I love the names they give these people. You have to pay. Get back to the nail salon and pay for it. She's too busy. She's on her phone doing stuff. Like but this is what I mean. This is what is the problem as well, right? She's going to be on her phone recording, but she's going to give, like, this whole, like, um, have this whole victim mentality now where she's going to go, like, oh, guys, I'm recording them because they're, they're stopping me from leaving. And she's going to make up some shit, like, you know, like, um, I don't know. I, I have paid for my nails, but they're, like, saying that I didn't, but I did. And now they're chasing me down the street, you know, trying to call the police on me. It's very wrong, guys. It's wrong, you know? Shame these people. That's what I mean. You don't know who to trust anymore because there's always people recording each other and they're having their own sides to it. So it's quite... Like, it's always tricky. Well, it's not always tricky, but sometimes it's tricky to, you know, point out the liar unless they sort of, like, trip up. You know what I mean? Like, ah, no, no, you, we know you're lying now. You know, you said that and you didn't mean to. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, everyone just does this these days. You just oh, whip out my phone and we're just going to point phones at each other. You know, and just shout loudly. Like, well, why are you bothering her? She's clearly too busy on her phone. Oh, she's making a break for it. to run. No, no. <laughs> she didn't get far. Christian nationalist Joel Weapon says he despises democracy because it allows women to vote. Something he calls unchristian. Oh my god. Who oh dear. These fucking people. The reason why I have grown to despise democracy is 
um, because uh, it's not we the people. It's so, a, well, sorry, what would you prefer over democracy? A dictatorship? Like, what, 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 do, you, what do you propose the alternative is? Uh, and just for the record, you know, yeah, I think the 19th Amendment should be repealed. I think that because, well, first and foremost, because I'm a Christian. I'm guessing I'm, I'm going to double check this, but based off the context of this, I think the 19th Amendment is um, women being able to vote. 19th Amendment. Yeah, granted women the right to vote. Okay, well, nice one, mate. I bet your wife loves you. I bet she loves you deep down and she's not cheating. Man intent. How do you know he has a wife? Just saying, it's 2024. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like women for many different reasons. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty sh stupid though. But you always get people like that, to be honest. Who just like, you know, they hate a group of people or they just don't like a group of people because, well, they just don't and they just don't see it as right. Yeah, it's shit, really. Right, man intentionally keys a park Tesla model why he doesn't realize he was being filmed. Ooh. Intentionally keys a park oh. Tesla model why he didn't realize he was being filmed. Why would you do this? Like, it's such a pointless crime. Wait, so he, did he ding the car a little bit? And he's like, ah, oh, do a little bit more damage to that. Oh, yes. I oh, I could. Okay, so he was going to go around to his... Oh, he's just fucking keying it now. Why are you doing that? There's like, there's literally no reason to do that. You're not gaining anything from doing that. This shit tries to sip on other people's drinks for clout. Yeah, I see, I see this quite a lot. Well, not in person, but on like TikTok and stuff. I see this. Oh, fucking, oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, I really, oh, fucking hell. That's disgusting, man. Oh my god. And look at the pose he's doing right there. Well, yeah, if he gets put in prison eventually, he should get used to that pose. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh yes, the downward dog. It always works well in the showers. <laughs> oh my god. What the... Oh, no, not the, the wheelbarrow, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that is disgusting though. I re like, there's going to be someone who's going to really fucking... He's going to get hurt for that. He's going to get smacked. Because there's people who really, like, enjoy their food or their drinks and stuff these days. And they do they do not want this type of person doing this. Like, who's just doing this for, like, you know, the type of person who's just doing this for clout. And they're just doing stupid shit. Oh, boy. And really annoying. Look, he's yeah, still you're following. Doing too much. You're doing way too much. Yeah, just you're hunting these people down. Piece of shit streamer cat calls underage daughter angry dad snaps. Oh, I, I couldn't begin to. Oh, guess I've seen this what platform. This guy streams on. It doesn't say anywhere on screen, but I'm willing to bet my house it's kick or rumble or one of the other shit ones. Come here. Yeah, I've Come seen here. this. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Come here, little blondie. Little Taylor Swift looking ass. Mate, you are a nonce. You're a nonce and a wrong un. <laughs> what will possess you to live stream yourself doing? What is the point of this live stream? Just have. Now, watch how this goes down, right? This is what. <sighs> These type of streamers, they just do this, like, in a. Where they act all, they act all hard, right? And, oh, oh, lovely, yeah, get your ass over here, you know, and stuff like that, you know. They'll just be like, you know, like I said, catcalling or doing whatever. And watch what transpires, you know, soon enough. Because now he's going to come, not in that way, and face reality. Reality's going to hit him like a brick wall right now because along comes daddy. Harassing women on the street. You're like, you're filming your own evidence to get you locked up. Hey, bro, then why is she out this late, bro? What? Why is she out this late? This is Hollywood, bro. Why is she out this late? Because we just went on a father-daughter day at dinner. That's great. I apologize, bro. I'm not trying oh, to... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up. You are. I'm sorry. You're not, you're not apologizing. I disrespect you anyway, bro. I told you. You don't mean to disrespect you anyway after what you said. Oh, yeah, no. I meant it, you know, in a very respect. Yes, I'm sorry. I can't call your underage daughter, you know. I, I, I didn't mean to, you know. <laughs> Oh, stupid Fucking hell, these 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 idiots, dude. No problem, sir. No problem. Oh, it's the sir again. No problem, sir. No problem. You're 
bottling it, mate. You you can't you can't act all big man on street. Yeah, you know, giving it all that. Yeah, and drop your ass when he goes. Shut the fuck up. He's like, no problem, sir. No problem, sir. I meant no offence. No, Chris, do you know what he'll do then? This is what this, this streamer will probably do, right? The reason some streamers do this, where they start to, like, you know, act all, like, innocent, like, oh, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't mean to do that, you know, in front of their audience, is because then they can probably cut that part out and just do things like, oh, angry dad has a go at me for no reason, you know? Rage moment. And they can just do shit like that. It's a fucking pussy move. That's what it is. These people... I, I'm, this is why, like... These streamers are pathetic. It is so fucking pathetic. They are. Because they do shit like this, right? For no... They just do it out of the blue. Just to get... You know, try try to make their, their stream interesting. Oh, yeah. So interesting. You know what I mean? So fucking interesting. <sighs> I'm just getting, I'm getting heated, I am, because I just don't like people like this. I would never want to encounter people like this, you know, because they just seem like scumbags, they just do. And also, good on the dad for, like, standing up for his daughter. And, you know, I'm putting this pussy in line. This pussy right here. This streamer. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't like. I mean, it makes it worse that she's fifty. But in you his place, calling people. No, to begin. in his place. That's the word for it. Not not put this pussy in line. Put this pussy in place. In his place. Can't fucking speak right now. <laughs> you know, I meant no disrespect. I thought she was of age. I thought it oh, was yeah. a respectful thing to say. Going after women. Bro, bro, why are you fuck up. Me like that, bro. I'm, I'm... Don't, bro. Don't tell me about coming at me. Don't you considered me. my world. All right. I apologize for that. I apologize, sir. I apologize. Yeah. Be nice. This is on yeah. camera. Yeah. Be nice. So you be nice. She's 15. What's he hanging out with a 15 year old girl? She's 15. Because it's. He... Oh my fucking god. People like this are so stupid. He just said that's his daughter. And then when he's gone, you turn around and say, Why is he hanging out with a 15 year old? He just said he was having a dad and daughter day. That's his daughter, you fucking idiot. Jesus. Some of these people, man, they just, I just, I feel common sense is just, there's not, there's not much of it around anymore. <sighs> wow. And also as well, when the dad, when the dad's walked away, he probably talked a lot of shit about the dad saying like, oh, I could have taken him. Could have taken him well and good, mate. If I wanted to, but I didn't. Because I'm a better man. Yeah, whatever. You're not a better man. Just an absolute fucking joke. Why is he hanging out with a 15 year old girl? He literally explained. It's his daughter, you know. Yeah, girl. it's his Do daughter. You know, he's 15. What's, what's that like? A 50 year old man doing out with, hanging out with a 15 year old? The creep. I'm not the creep. Oh, I'll tell you this as well then, right? I'll turn it around. If you're saying that, oh, why is, why is there a 50 year old guy hanging out with a 15 year old girl, right? Well, how about another one? Why is it like a guy in his like, I would say mid twenties to nearly 30. Why are you cat calling an, a 15 year old girl? I'll turn it around, I'll spin it around. You know, come on then, let's play nonce roulette. Let's see where it lands. Oh wait, it's landed on you. <laughs> because it turns out that that was the father. And you're just some random guy on the street cat calling a young girl. I don't know. Creepy, what's he on about? Pickpocket yeah. in action. Oh, be interesting oh. to see this. I've, I've been pickpocketed before. I did manage to get my stuff back, but interested to see how he goes about it. There's a lot of people around. Like, I mean, they're all looking away now. This is a prime time to strike. Oh, no, there's people coming from behind. Ooh. Oh, here he goes. Not very discreet, is he? I mean, he seems to have done a success. Mm, yeah, some, there, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Karen has tried to intimidate girl. Oh, 
You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Lay you out. No fucking fair. But how did it get to that point of interview? <laughs> that, that was fast. Oh, lay. She started it. She's like, how dare you? How dare you chat back to me? Oh, lay you out. You're like you 60 years old. I will still lay you out. You're like, I you, will still lay I'll you out. Can I just say something, right? When people, uh, unless like um you're underage or whatever, then it makes sense. Like you know, if like for example, right, if you're a fifty year old woman screaming at a fifteen year old girl and saying, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna deck you and stuff like that, then that's fair enough, right? Because that girl is underage. But when you're an adult, when you're like you know eighteen and above, like you know whether you're eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, whatever, right? Why do these people? They talk, sh you know, they, they get ag aggressive themsel themselves, right? And they talk shit back. But then they sort of, like, backtrack and go, like, oh, well, you're 60 years old. Like, uh, like, like it's, it makes any difference? Because, in reality, I, I, I know, like, this, this woman, this, like, like 60-year-old woman or whatever, she's in the wrong. Because, like, I, I know people doing this, it, it can look stupid. But, you know, they have the right to do that, you know, just doing like a little video of them twirling, ar twirling around or whatever. But still, like, you're both adults. So it doesn't matter then, does it? You know what I mean? Do you know what? A lot of things have happened in this video right now. I've had people text me at the wrong moment. I've had bikes go by like a few times. I've hit my fucking leg on the desk. And now someone's calling me. All in all, and I've been recording for like nearly half an hour. <laughs> And as soon as I stop recording, nothing will happen. Only things happen when I'm doing shit. But like I said, when it comes to this sort of thing, like, uh, it's just, it's pointless. The, the older woman didn't need, need to do that, you know what I mean? And there's no point having an argument over this. But I have seen people use the whole, like, oh, you're 60, you're 50, when they're both adults. Like, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Like, I understand the older person is supposed to be, you know, this they're saying that, oh, they should be more wiser, you know, they should be more like, you know, should have learned over the years that, you know, doing this sort of stuff is not mature, which, yeah, understandable. So, mm, yeah. If you don't want to be a total POS and do a good deed today, like and subscribe, because... It will make me smile. So there we go. That was the video. Horrible people filming themselves doing horrible things by Mimulus. Now, what do I think of that video? It was a good video. It was. It had some good, good choices there that got my blood boiling. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it just shows that there are still there's still a lot of stupid out there. You know, there's a lot of stupid, and people will do anything for the clout still and it's just it's just downright pathetic but guys i hope you enjoyed remember like subscribe original video down below all that good shit <laughs> and i'm out and in peace yeah and remember don't be an arsehole like these people enjoy your life and try to be respectful you know, you don't need to stoop to the level of these people, you know, you can be better. So yeah, there's that. That's the moral of this video, I guess. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs>